Hey everyone, it's Gail. I am here today with, I think what I'm going to do is a little what's on my desk. I have some tidying up that needs to be done. I thought maybe we would just make a few things with what's lying around. I'm going to say hi and hugs here to Rhonda, Joanne, Nikki, and Kim. Thank you so much for watching and for your um and for your comments. So, uh, let's see. Let's get started. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, I hadn't... This was the first uh, bag or sack loaded pocket I did. This is the second one. I finally got it done. So, I wanted to show you guys. So, um, just... Uh, this is a little coffee dyed crinkled seam binding to uh tie it up with we've got a little remember right there we've got one of these kind of envelopes and a little um journaling card in the first bag here and then it flips down and there's a pocket here that there's some more goodies and then i have a belly band here and i put these two things from the kit it's um Cottage Lane Volume 3 by Nectar's Creations, just to remind you guys. Then I just took a page from the kit and inked it and popped it in the front of this sack. The back of this sack has one of these wonderful music cards that I got in Happy Mail and a little dress that um, I just traced uh, the design by... Sue Olson. Gosh, I can't remember her shop name now, but I'll I'll try and look it up if I can find it. I should be able to find it. I, I just can't remember. It's off the top of my head, it's been a long time since I've used something. Oh, oh, I thought that was coming up. No, that's a flip. Okay, so then I have this um, collage journal card in here. And then on this side, I have a little flip and a journaling card. And then little tag and journaling card from the kit. Um, and in this one, I have a journaling card from the kit. And then this is from Tsunami Rose. So tuck that in there. Um, on this little pocket, I have just a piece of paper for writing. I have a tag from the kit and I have a coffee dyed envelope that has a little something in there to write on too. And then in this pocket, I've got a tag from the kit. I've got one of these wonderful index cards. Um, this is either... Carol Lane or HM Creations by V, not sure which. Journaling card from a leftover piece of paper and then the little um, file folder from the kit. So that all slips in there. And then up here, a, a tag, a guest check. And then we flip it over. And we've got this little sack that has three journaling cards in it. This I put on as a belly band and put one of the decorated or one of the coffee dyed patterned um, index cards. And then I made three tags out of the leftovers of the kit with some of the, the writing paper on the back. So that is it. I got her done. So um, these two are going to be giveaways on my Patreon to my VIP patrons. I'm just going to do a little surprise. I will have already done it by the time you see this. Um, but there we go. So isn't those, isn't those fun? <laughs> Aren't those so fun? I enjoy doing those. So that will not be the last time I do that. That is for sure. Okay, guys. Oh, and then um, uh, a jewel design has a new word digi that is awesome. It's kind of a light pink and has all the words. So that is on my desk because I just printed it. And then this is the... Um, Botanical Kit 2 from Roxy Creations. 
And I pulled that out because I'll show you what else is on my desk. So I have this kit from Studio Vintage Studio 717. And it is a fall kit. And um, I, I have the stuff that I may, I may go ahead and start doing the signature for this is what I'm thinking. And I thought that the, there were several of these papers, this one, this one, and this one that go with this. So I might do a little collaging on journal cards there. I have pulled stuff from my already made ephemera for this journal and then I've also got all the um, all the fussy cutting done for the kit so I have that on my desk then I also have oh goodness stretch then I also have um, this kit which is oh goodness do I have it on here <laughs> this is Shoot. Sorry, guys. I usually try and have it on here. Oh, my gosh. And my brain has it gone absolutely blank. I don't have it on here. I know I told you because I was... I was uh, playing with it. I'll put it in the description box. I'm so sorry. Goodness. The brain sometimes. So I have stuff for it. And I was thinking that this page would tie in nicely with that. So I have those for collaging. I also have a big bucket of stuff for this journal. And I do have the uh, the cover figured out for this one. And I think I'm going to put this. It's Victorian Autumn. That's what it's called. It's Victorian Autumn. Jeez, I can't remember. Sorry, guys. Anyways, on my desk. So I could put the signatures of those together. I have these little things to make a banner with that are on my desk. I have scraps here for collage, I think. I have napkins that are fall napkins. So I I have stuff and my fussy cutting is everywhere because I don't know why I'm doing that to myself, but I'm just fussy cutting up a storm. Oh, that so bugs me, you guys, that I can't think of that. Whose kit that is? Oh, cheesy peasy gal. But sometimes, you know, I, I do my best on the video that aired today. I had the, the wrong word in an Etsy shop. It's like, I try so hard and I just can't do it always. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but I mean, I get let know. You guys let me know. So this is good. Sheesh. Okay. Um, yeah, I thought I'd, I'd make this for one of the, one of those journals since they're kind of next up. I also have another Tim Holtz over there, which I've had an idea for to do for to celebrate 40,000 subbies okay so there we go oh dear I think I might go like that Yeah, so anyway, not too much going on around here. Um, my oldest daughter is going to be moving into their new house. And so we are going to go help them. 
and um, so my friend Lynn's gonna come stay with Jimmy Joe and I, I told Lynn that when I told Jimmy Joe Lynn was coming he went in a circle chasing his tail so I think he's excited so um, so that'll be coming up and not to worry my daughter my daughter was a germaphobe before any corona stuff and so um it's six feet apart it's masks it's the whole nine yards even though we're spending the weekend we'll be we'll just be wearing our masks and stuff okay so that's fun um i'm not sure what i want to do to embellish it i was kind of wondering if there's something in here that would be fall colors have all of these wonderful little clusters Ooh, that's kind of nice that is nice i'm going to use that and then that will be one more thing one more thing to add to the journal okay i think i'll go right about there with the glue So I think I have already figured out what I'm going to do for Scrappy Saturday. So that's exciting. It's kind of fun when I can figure out kind of ahead of time what I'm doing. I like that. Okay, well those little scraps are off the table. Look at us. I'll set that over there just so we know what we made. Um, let's, let's play with the signature a little bit. Oh, goodness. So this is Vintage Studio 717. See, I have my sticker on this one. Um, and it's called Autumn Alphabet. And it's very different colors than your usual autumn kit. And I love it. So I found this in my one of my autumn um, ideal magazines. So I know I want to put that in there. And... I've got some coffee dyed papers here that we might pick from. I think I want to have this in the middle because of the way the butterflies are. I think that'll be good. And this one I printed on both sides so that, you know, it's got, it's got writing space on one side. So that's kind of fun. Let's get this folded and see what it looks like folded. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. That's kind of fun having the blue and the red. I was kind of trying to do blue, red, blue, red. Gosh, isn't that pretty? So, yes, I love this love this it's going to be a fun one and i was surprised yet again i was so surprised how how much ephemera i had that just went great with this i mean i expected i just didn't know how much first of all i don't have a lot of red but i and i didn't just didn't know how much teal I would have either. Okay, so I have no idea what the cover on this journal is going to be, but I'm looking at first page. That's a possibility, and that's a possibility on the first pages. So I think I'm going to put those to the front, and then I'll decide when I figure out the cover, I'll decide which of those we want to have be our first page. Okay, so then this is be just the right size I think so I'm just gonna do this in half I might even up the top a little bit not that it really matters it'll be on opposite sides of the signature but I just didn't cut it out of the book super straight so we'll just give that a little chop chop okay Oh, I think that's so pretty too. It's so pretty. Okay, I think I'm going to put that here. Just 
to break up those lined pages a little bit. Oh yeah. And then I had this that I thought went. Oh, but if I put that in the middle, it doesn't have to be in the middle. That's where I usually put it is in the middle of the signature, but I don't want to cover up those butterflies. So I am going to fold it this way and see these are belly bands then on either side and then there's a pocket here and a pocket on the other side. So I'll just fold it the other way for a change. And we'll put it in there somewhere. Okay, let's see what I have. I pulled these out because I didn't think that they were ones I wanted to. Okay, those are parchment-ish paper. So it's that one and that one. And these are regular. So how many do I have here? I was printing and I just pulled these out because I didn't think I wanted to put print a digital on this. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so maybe we throw one over to the side and we put four in each of these books. These are a little lighter. I think those will go in that one better. These will go better in the other one. Okay. And the parchment, I'm going to use that on tags, I think. Yeah, or something not in the signature. Okay, oh, isn't that pretty? I'm going to go this way with that. And these coffee dyed papers are from Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. She's kind of my supplier. <laughs> okay, so I think we'll just go. Let's see, every other one kind of. Although I do like that against the blue. So maybe we'll start here. Because that's nice against that. And I don't know... else I'm going to put in this one. I did it the other way. That would look kind of neat, I think. So we'll just fold it the other way. It's okay to change our mind. Probably should have waited to fold it till I knew which way we were going, but that's okay. 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 Well, that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. So only really need about three more pages in that. So we'll think about that. Okay. And then let's do, let's do this one if I can grab it. Okay. Don't need that at the moment. Okay. This one, I had a couple of pages. This was from a floral book, and I thought it was nice. 
and then that and then this is for the cover so we don't want that going in victorian autumn oh my gosh driving myself crazy okay this is kind of the crinkly one that we experimented on and it kind of bled through and stuff so I'm just going to put that in its normal just maybe kind of close to the um, center okay so now we have all of these beautiful papers and these are printed on that colored paper that is in my favorite things. I got it on Amazon. I want this one to be close to the center. Let's figure out which one we're going to put in the middle. Hmm. to put this in the middle. Maybe we will. Let's put that in the middle. So it opens out. Now there are a lot of pages to this kit. A lot of pages. So I wish I had my laptop or my uh, iPad down here. I would just flip it open and figure out whose this is. I'm just like having such a blank so nuts okay this is a beautiful kit though look at that it's not pretty but as you can see there's quite a few pages to it which is awesome I did print off one of those leaf pages on just plain copy paper because I want to be able to collage with it. So it's kind of with the other scraps of fall things that I have. Okay, so there's a lady there. So let's put this one here. Trying to spread the ladies apart, but I have two ladies right there. A lady here. Okay. Okay, so front front cover. The cover is just like it's just this. So I'll probably put a pocket on there. I'll probably go over this with my Distress ink or maybe my Archival ink and just go over it and give it some, some depth, if you will. Okay, so now let's do these. I think I'm going to have to trim this off. No, I did a pretty good job on that one. How about this one? Poem about Indian summer days. Okay. And then our coffee dye. Okay, this feels good to at least have this a little bit of this done. Getting the signatures done. So I know 
I need pockets for the blue and red one. I know that. So let's go. We did. See, this is the one I printed on just plain copy paper so that I'd have. That's nice there. So the other one we'll put kind of at the beginning. That. And then, don't know that I have enough to go every other one with coffee dyed. Then go two. Nice. Two. And two. And I bet you this has 15 pages because Oh, I have to cut that down a bit. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It's gonna be a fatty McFadzo. So that's what's gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna just take a little off that edge since it's sticking out already. Alrighty then, those are kind of put together. Okay. Okay, so that, that will be fun in there. So I think what I'm gonna do is pop that over here and Let's work on this cover a little bit. I want, I think I want my sepia, sepia colored archival ink. Almost looks like um, branches there, branches and leaves. Don't know that I need that on that bottom to be too much more than that because I'll probably do a pocket. Okay, so let's. side too. Alrighty then, let's look at our lady here. I want to cut her down and figure out how we want to layer her on the front of this. So, this is about an inch 
Okay. Let's see. How do, how am I going to do that? There is good. We'll just use this for collage or something. And then what I was thinking of doing is going across and fussy cutting that out. I don't know if I can do a good enough job, but let's try it. I'd like it to be about I think hubby might be out doing the mowing he's been working very hard for the schools oh my gosh he's just putting in the hours trying to get figure out the scheduling based on all the goofiness okay I'm gonna go across right there okay that's what I was thinking. It's bigger than I normally would put on a cover, but that's okay. Hmm. My brain's going through the possibilities to layer it. I might. There's really not enough room for fabric and lace, so I might just go with lace. Really don't know. I haven't. Like I say, I just thought I would clean up a few things on my desk and. So might be as far as we get today. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm going to think about what to put on there. You'll see it again. You'll see both these journals again because that's, that's the one I'm working on. Let's just, let's just play. I feel like that is too hard on my brain right now. So the next half hour is going to be play. Okay, so another thing I have on my desk is a bunch of coffee dyed stuff. So I'm thinking about what to do with, with said coffee dyed stuff. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things that I kind of think these will be good for is let's just grab out That was harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it was a stretch. A stretch for Gail. Okay. Let's just make some little thingies to use along the way. We're just going to randomly grab. I got it on the bottom because I was being so heavy handed. Okay. And then grab a different number. That 
one's crooked. Okay. And then I think we should be able to get, I don't know if we'll get three on there. Well, one over here. Well, one over here. Yep, we should be able to get another one. Okay, then I'm just going to tear those and they will be, ouch, <laughs> just shut my finger in the lid, and they will be good to pop on things. Let that one go. Well, it's decently straight. Okay. Okay, I have a little sack here somewhere. I did, don't I? Oh, yeah, there it is. Fell to the bottom. I have this little sack with um, stamped things in it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, nails on a chalkboard. Goodness. Okay, so then this guy do I have? We have this bunny. He will fit on there. have my stamping pad out but I don't okay and then what can we do with the rest this one's a really good size for a hinge so maybe we'll do something with that um, and then I'm looking at Tim Holtz. This is the feel notes. Okay, so that I'm going to keep as a hinge. This I'm thinking this one would be really cool on. And um, I could do the fun little clusters with that. I feel like I've been using those like crazy, so Acrylic block. Get out my way. Crowd me. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gosh, I got quiet, didn't I? Sometimes I forget the camera's rolling. 
because believe it or not, when I'm crafting by myself, I don't talk to my, sometimes I do. Where'd I put that is usually what I say. <laughs> but, okay, that one is gonna be smaller. So, what do we wanna do with it? I don't know, will it fit on there? Will, but I think instead, let's do this one. Yep. It's almost September. That means that the Tim Holtz Deckle Edge guillotine should be out. That would be good, wouldn't it? I've been wanting to. I did order something on Amazon that I'll share with you guys when it gets here. That may go on my favorite things. It depends on if it becomes a favorite thing or not. Or if it's just something that I'm not going to use, you know? <laughs> okay, so let's just roll randomly do some clusters on those. Um, 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 um. Okay. Is this wide enough? Yeah, it is. This is pretty. I don't know, you could consider that Christmas, but I think berries are kind of fallish. And this would go in the blue and red journal. Okay. Like that what else we have. I'm just grabbing what's in my cart here. Um, and what's wide enough. Wide enough. Ooh. This might go in my one, two. These uh, fabrics as well are from Vintage Polka Dot Shop. Probably, I would say she's one of my most shop most shopped shops. <laughs> I am over there all the time. She probably is like, oh my gosh, you need something else. Um. Looking, guys. Hang on. Maybe a little of this would be fun. Not really big enough for that. Kind of cool for that, though. I'm just going to cut that. I don't know if it'll rip. Okay. Well, we're getting a few things done for me not having any idea what we were going to do today. Um, gosh, I think that's kind of fun. Very neutral and all right. So oh, we did that. I think I will. 
um, grab one of these and these little doilies that my friend Lorette gave me. And we're just gonna pull off a bit of it. Just kind of stick that in. And once again, this kind of method of doing a cluster came from Gina at the Firefly Studio 67. Isn't the sound of a lawnmower just kind of a homey sound? I actually think I'm going to switch these two. Yep. Okay. So then, hanging down lace. I moved my lace card. Uh-oh. That's no good. Um... I don't know that I have anything in my my little bag here or my little bucket. Oh yes I do. Oh yes I do. Good. Well, maybe I'll just do just do one. to the side. Yeah. Okay. And then these will just be sewn around the edges. And bada bing, bada boom, done. this one and then I want a piece of um, this hear my husband's lawnmower in my silence. He's right outside my window. <laughs> that and like this there we go okay how much time do we have we have about 10 minutes so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit these over on my sewing machine and I will sew those afterward but some little clusters done and I think we got a few that will work with those two journals so that's happy all righty then let's see if we can super fast like let's see if we can do a couple of or one journal card See if we can. Actually, let's do a pocket. Let's plan on a pocket. Yep. Okay. So I 
felt like this one would go really well with this this whole situation. I love this. I don't know what it is about it, but absolutely love it. Just a little collaging along the way as well. about going across the top. Let's see here. I have these as well. Also from Rachel. And I've been kind of dying to kind of dying to play with them a little bit. So no time like the present me forever to oh look now I have more stuff to stamp on <laughs> I used up a couple and now I'm making more that's how it goes isn't it oh the never-ending scraps and you're not going to believe what I did um Sarah at mushroom market the mushroom market had some um, scrap packs on her Etsy <laughs> and I thought oh wouldn't that be fun for scrappy Saturday because I had so much fun playing with the ones from Dan so yeah I ordered them I yeah yeah I'll tell you what um, postage from Australia is not cheap. It was more than my order. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so that there. And I feel like I want just a little, like a pattern or something. to do that because I think I want to put a bird or something on it. Okay, so what's going down first? This is yeah, I I think when I get done doing this video I might I don't know I think I might have the don't freak out before Christmas to get done. But I kind of like to keep just working with this stuff on my desk. Um, should I decide to do that and then that, I think. And we'll sew around this too, so it'll be good that I have a little batch of sewing to do too. We're not going any, I think this weekend my husband's going to be working on scheduling all weekend. So you know what, that frees me up guilt free to be in my craft room the entire weekend. <laughs> oh, he would say, why do you feel guilty anyway? And I'd say. Well, I am down here a lot. I thought there was a red, I thought there was a red and blue um, bird. Did I make that up? Must have. Huh. Okay. Well. Kind of, 
I'm looking and trying a few things here. Hmm. I don't know. I think I might just wait and see on that one. Okay, but that will be a good pocket. That is actually going to be too big for a pocket. So I think I'm going to trim that down right here a bit. I don't know if it will rip, but I'm going to try. Yes, it did. Okay. Yeah, that's better. And I need to trim along the edges a little bit. Okay. Okay, well that will be a little pocket. I have, I'm going to have to decorate it. I don't know, my next video might be another desk video. Because I feel like this is this is what I need to do is some of this stuff. Um, wonder if I have a big butterfly in. big butterfly somewhere. Here they are from Artsology. Yeah, Artsology on Etsy. I was thinking maybe Ooh, here's a pink and I don't know, the pink's not quite bright enough, I feel like. Nope. Nope. Not feeling it. Ooh, there's a turquoise in red. That could go with my... It's not going to go with this card, but that could go with my... Um my kid over there so I might have to do that okay well that's fine um let's do I am going to figure out here where's my pencil I am going to do couple of diagonal pockets. So let's collage this. Really like this. Let's see. How could I do this to make the most of all the images? And do this. Oh, look at that, it fits perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I feel like I need a little pink on this one. Hmm. doing strips aren't I I guess that's fine that so then I need a little something to go down there um, and something something pink I think Okay. I don't know where we 
are time wise we're probably past time aren't we so we put this one down This goes the whole way. Okay, so collaged that. Now I am going to take my scissors and cut along the line we made. And those will be either this way or this way. Oh, I like them. They turned out good. Why are you not sticking? Oh, I forgot. Double pages. I knew I I knew that was that way too. <laughs> Such a goof. Okay. This one would be the same. Two pages. That's right, we'll use those on something else. Okay, so those will be cute, and then I'll stitch around them, and we'll decorate them. I don't know, we might do some decorating tomorrow. That may happen. Gosh, I am just happy playing with bits. It's just a funny thing. <laughs> just a little weird quirk of mine. Okay, so I think we'll call this a video. We did get this done. <laughs> the rest need to be sewed. We got some signatures done. We got a few things done. I still have as much on my desk as I did when we started, though. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.